we'll go outside in a second. What's up guys? Uh, apparently today Pixel's gonna help me with our quick tip. We're talking about how to loop footage and comps in After Effects. Hey, what's up guys? Ryan here. So we're just doing a quick tip on different ways to loop footage and comps inside of After Effects. So let's dive right in. All right, so one of the ways to make uh, items loop is right now I have this HUD element and it's not doing anything. So let's just go ahead and make it rotate in Z space a little bit. I'm just gonna click R, gonna click on the Z rotation and let's go forward maybe, let's say seven seconds and have this do one rotation. So now we have it doing a full circle. It's gonna do 360 degrees and stop at one second. So quick expression to make this keep looping is I'm just gonna alt click the stopwatch. I'm gonna type loop out with a capital O and open and close parentheses. And now we have a loop that'll keep going after our initial keyframes. So let's go ahead and look at that real quick. All right, cool. So we can see our end keyframe is right there, but this loop will keep going to the end of our comp and to the end of time. So that's uh, one quick way. Let's keep moving on to an example here where um, we have more looping HUD elements, but they only last for three seconds and I want it to go the whole duration of the composition. So I want it to go to 10 seconds. So instead of the property, we can control a loop with time as well. So let's go ahead and right click this time, enable time remapping. And I'm gonna use the same expression, but the trick with this for time is, I don't wanna do it on the keyframe because it's black, that's where the composition ends. We're gonna do it one frame before at a keyframe. I'm gonna delete this last one. So now we set the time frame to let the expression know where it should keep looping. So I'll do the same, I'll click the stopwatch. I'm gonna type loop out with a capital O again. Open and close brackets. All right, and now we're gonna extend the composition to the end of the timeline, and the loop's gonna keep going past our original composition of only three seconds out to 10 seconds or whatever we need. All right, and so the last quick tip is if you already have some footage that you wanna bring in and loop it as well. For this example, I'm just bringing in this film grain plate that I made, and it's you know just kind of a noise pattern that there's no details, and if it loops, you're never gonna know the difference. Uh, the problem is right now, is it ends at five seconds. So you can do the same thing for compositions. You can go time enable time remapping. So if I go and right click and go to interpret footage main, I have an option here to let the footage loop as many times as I tell it to. So as soon as I change this number, let's go ahead and look how my footage clip extends past my composition. Let's do a hundred times. So now I can fill up my composition with all the footage and my loop keeps going. So if I wanna use this grain plate, all I gotta do is set it to overlay. And now I have a little bit of film grain that loops. I really like using grain plates because not only is it organic, real live grain footage, but it seems to be a little bit faster in After Effects and doesn't take as long to render as the add noise effect. So, so there we go, guys. Just a couple of quick tips today on how to loop items in After Effects. Uh, I hope that helps. Uh, I got another tutorial coming out on Thursday, so check in for that. I think I'm going to do some Cinema 4D stuff. But uh, yeah, have a good one, and we'll talk to you next time.